today I was uh, working and I was out on the uh, road and Lord will begin to speak to my mind. I want to share just a couple of scriptures with you real quick. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, 28 through 31. It says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fadeth not, nor is he weary, therefore no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And I was just thinking in that scripture today, and I was thinking so many times, there's been many of us faced many battles, and many trials in our lives. If it had not been for the Lord stepping in, where would your life be? If he didn't make a way where your life, where would it be? And then he brought David to my mind and how he was riding and hiding and ducking in caves from Saul and how that in the middle of all that, God raised him up. And then I thought about Daniel in the lion's den, how he began to praise and magnify God and he shut the lion's mouth. Then I thought about Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego was in the fire, and they began to magnify God, and he showed up. I just want to encourage someone tonight, if you're looking for a miracle, you're looking for your situation to change up, allow your praise to come back. Remember what God did for you in the beginning when he saved you, when you got filled with the Holy Ghost. Let that come back to your mind, and let the praise of God rise up in your spirit. Worship with us as we sing. the power of sin and darkness whose love is mighty and so much stronger the king of glory the king above all kings who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless and all in wonder the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is a failing love. That you would take my place. And you would bear my cross. for me. Justice shines like the sun in all of its brilliance. 
waiting for All that you've done for me So heaven meets earth like an unforeseen cancer mark. 
and praise him bless his name I was thinking back there how much he loves us how much he's given up for us and how much he sacrificed for our life and I just begin to think about the greatness of the Lord and I just want to thank Jesus for all the things that he's done for my life and the things he's doing for this church church has God done anything for you come on we can certainly offer him up a better praise than what we've been Come on now, you got to push past your week. Come on, push past whatever's distracting you right now. Come on, push away your flesh. Come on, make your flesh submit to God's spirit right now. Come on, his spirit is in this room right now. His spirit is in this room right now. Come on, I want you to push past whatever's bothering you right now. I want you to lift up holy hands to Jesus. Come on, his spirit is in this room right now. Come on, he's passing by. He's wanting to see who's going to worship him and pour out their praise today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on now. Press in a little bit more. Press in a little bit higher right now. Come on, let's enter into his presence tonight. Let's enter into his presence tonight. Come on, let a thankful heart be raised up right now. Come on, if you don't got nothing to thank him for, thank him for breath. Thank you for the air that you're breathing tonight. Thank you that you get to come to the house of the Lord tonight and to bless his name. To thankful tonight that we get to know a God that loves us beyond our condition, beyond our infallibles, beyond our sin. Christ died for us while we were yet a sinner. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you tonight. Come on, I want them to sing it again. Hallelujah. Let's enter into a season of worship tonight. With one mind and one accord tonight. Worship him again. Hallelujah. So much. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe that this song, this song is so precious because it lets us know how much he loves us. But I, I don't know who wrote this song, but I, I, think, I think that this song is incomplete unless we express to him that we love him. Because love only goes one way. It's not, it's not a complete love. It's not complete. A relationship is formed when two love each other. So I think it's important tonight that we show him that we love him. That we love him today today I just I just I just feel the presence of God in this place today I, I know I'm pushing I know I'm pushing tonight but I think God has something for us tonight hallelujah come on one more time if you could just love Jesus come on that's it I love you Jesus 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 I love you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I love you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I love him so much. I love him so much. 
much I love him so much I love make it personal now I love him so much I love him so much I love him so much I love come on this is personal now oh I love him so much I love him so Sing it with me. Oh, I love him so much. I love him so much. I love him so much. I love. Now let's put our hands together and give him a thunderous praise offering tonight. Oh, Jesus, thank you for loving me, Lord. Now, Lord, I love you back. I love you back, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. You may be seated. Brother Eric is coming at this time with some announcements. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. How many are glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. How many are glad that God put it in your heart that you wanted to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Praise God. Amen. There's a lot of other places you could be. Amen. But we are in the house of the Lord tonight. It feels good. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's not forget about our Easter service that's coming up. Uh, one service on Easter starting at uh, 10 o'clock. Um, we will be having our helicopter extreme, which is Easter service after our, our Sunday Easter service. Uh, we'll have an Easter egg hunt like we usually do. And then the helicopter will come, and that'll be for ages 3 and 11. And we're excited about that. Amen. Um, Friday, April the 5th, youth service uh, at POD at 7.30. All the youth, I'm sure, are ready for that. Uh, the college and career uh, in need of supplies for their annual egg fundraiser. And if you have any questions about that, please see Sister Amy Protzman. Uh, April the 13th is a church work day, and we want to do as much as we can to spruce up the house of God uh, to make it look great for our visitors. Amen. And uh, let them know that uh, we love them. Amen. By preparing a place that, that they'll come and enjoy. Amen. And also, we've already started to collect our Easter eggs, our plastic eggs. And um, I think we did almost 1,300 last year, and we've only got 600 so far. Everyone said, oh, my. And we don't need just 1,300 eggs. We need a lot of candy to put in those eggs also. So we, um, we really need you to get out this weekend, if you would, and just plow through and grab 100 bags of something. And, and bring it, and I'm sure somebody would be happy to stuff them in there for you, or you can do it. Um, but if we would all just come bring 50 eggs, 100 eggs, uh, it would be over the top. And so we're looking forward to that, and um, we really need to get as many as we can and, uh, as soon as we can, so we'll have a final number. So if you have any questions about the donations, you can see my wife or Sister Bonnie, and uh, they will take care of that for you. Amen. God is good. Amen. Praise God. We will dismiss the Sunday school kids to go to my wife's class for practice, for Easter practice. And while we're doing that, let's all stand. We're going to head and take up our evening's tithe and offering. Amen. A chance to give to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Brother Clack, would you please pray over the rest of the service?
lights went out when death had claimed its victory the king of love had given up his life for the darkest day in history there on a cross they made for sinners for every curse his blood atoned Final breath and it was finished But not the end we could have known For the earth began to shake And the veil was torn What sacrifice was made As the heavens roared
Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Man, why don't you turn to three people and just smile real big and shake their hand. Amen. Smile real big, shake their hand. Let them know that you're glad to see them in the house of the Lord today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? I'm excited to be in God's house today. Man, we're thankful for God's presence, thankful for all that God does for us. And uh, we, we are, we are so, we're so blessed that God loves us so much. He keeps on pouring out blessings upon blessings upon blessings on us. And we are, we are very thankful for God's presence today. Man, we're very humbled that we serve a God that loves us this much. Amen. None of us deserve it. You know that? None of us deserve it. But he willingly gives it. I thank God for his grace and his mercy in our lives today. We're thankful to be in the house of the Lord. And, and uh, we're thankful to see you today. We're thankful to see you today. Amen. How many loves the weather change? Praise God. God. Woo. Man, it feels good today. It feels good on the outside and good on the inside as well. And so I want to thank all of our church for helping us out with the, as Brother Eric was saying, with the Easter eggs and candy and stuff like that. We're well on our way now, and, and uh, uh, we're, every kid that comes on Easter Sunday is going to be blessed to be in church, and they're going to bless when they get out to be out of church too. So we're excited for all that, and and they, uh, we've got a lot of things going on, and we're thankful for God's presence and thankful for everything that the Lord is doing for our church, for our church. There's a lot of awesome things that are going on, and God's really blessing us today. So we're thankful for that today. Tonight, we're going to have Brother Ryan going to come. He's going to minister to us with the Word of the Lord. How many loves the Word of the Lord? Man, God's Word is always true. God's Word is always pure. Didn't you love that worship tonight? Oh, my goodness. Praise God. Praise God. Man, awesome job, worship team, in bringing us into the presence of the Lord tonight. And so we're thankful for God's Word, and we want God's Word to be a blessing to us tonight. Amen. At this time, as Brother Ryan comes, could you raise holy hands to Jesus and say, Lord, speak to me tonight. Lord, we need your anointing to sit upon us, God. Speak your, speak your Word to us, God. Your Word, God, will help us. Your Word always shows up and right on time. Lord, we love you, Jesus, and we praise you, Lord. Now, come on, church, we can do better than that. My God's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He didn't have to send his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life, but he did for you and for me. And he stretched his arms forth upon that cross for our sacrifice. And he shed his blood on Calvary that his blood, atoning blood can cover us. Amen? Amen. You all may be seated. First, I want to start off by thanking Pastor for this opportunity. It's a very humbling experience. And when the, God, when the God that I know says, go, you go. No questions asked. I've never questioned God. I'm not going to start questioning God now. The God that I know, forgive me. The God that I know touched my mom and said, go. My brother was sick for several years. He wasn't even supposed to live. That's why today I believe in miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen? Amen? My God is a God of many names. At this time, we'll go ahead and do a slide. The Bible says, my king is the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. I wonder, do you know him? My king is a sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. 
powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He is the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleanses the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the meek. I wonder if you know him. He's a key to knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's a roadway of righteousness. He's a highway of holiness. He's a gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. And his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. I wish I could describe him to you. He's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. Well, you can't get him out of your mind. You see, you can't get him off of your head. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, the Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. Yeah! Come on, that's my king. Is that the king that you serve today? That is my king of kings and my lord of lords. But it doesn't stop there. Over 2,000 references in the Bible. He's the almighty one, Revelations. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, Revelations 22, 13. 1 John 2, 1, he's the advocate with the Father. He's the author and perfecter of our faith, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 2. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. If that doesn't get you fired up today, I don't know what is. Because my Lord's a king of kings. And let me just say to you today, I don't know who you are. And, and I've known you for a little while. But, you know, I'd like to get you to know you more. I'd like you, for you to know my king as I know my king. My king is working the miraculous right now in this room. You may not see it. You may not believe it. But he is moving. Because right now, if it wasn't for his grace and his mercy, I would not be walking the way I'm walking. I would not be before you today. I would be a dead man. But I'll tell you what he saved me by his grace and his tender mercies today. His grace and his mercies endure forever and ever. Forever and ever. At the young age of 12, I was called to go, go, go. And I said, Lord, are you sure? At the age of 16, I had no place to live. No place to go, no food, no shelter. But I had my Bible. I knew a God that was merciful. I knew a God that loved me so much that he died upon a cross for my sins. That he died for you and he died for me. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. For right now I'm supposed to have a boot on according to medicine. I've been wearing it all week, and I said, Lord, give me the strength to endure another day without it while I preach to your people. The message today that the Lord has given unto me is that he is, that he is. 
He is the Almighty One. He is the Alpha, the Omega. He is the advocate with the Father. He is the author and perfecter of our faith. He is all authority and power. He is the bread of life. He is the beloved Son of God. He is the bridegroom. He is the chief cornerstone. He is our deliverer. He is our faithful and true. He is our good shepherd. He is the great I am. Is the great I am. He is the head of the church. He is the holy servant. He is Emmanuel. He is indescribable. He is incomprehensible. He is our judge. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the lamb of God. He is the light of the world. Hear me, church. He is the light of the world. He is the lion of Judah. Come on now. He is the lion of Judah. You're not hearing me. He's the lion of Judah. Come on. Give him all your praise. Amen. For the Lord of all, he is a mediator, he is a Messiah, he is my mighty one. Now let's make it personable tonight. He is the one who makes me free from all my bondage, from all my sin, from all the stuff that I've drugged for years and years and years before I came to know him as my personal savior and friend. He is the risen Lord. He is our hope when there is no hope. He is the rock of our salvation. He is the ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. There's no other that could die for you and for me. Buddha couldn't do it. You can't do it. I can't put myself on the cross for my children, but I would lay down my life for them. But it's not good enough. But my God said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Through him, he is the victorious one. He is the truth. He is the way maker. He is the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. Amen? Amen, are you hearing me? He's the word. In the beginning, he was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. John 1, 1. Come on now. No one else. No one else would matter. Nothing else matters. No one's else blood can matter. You've heard it today from the beginning of the songs to the end of the service for right now to the sermon. My God, stir in these waters. You don't see it, but I see it. I see the water stirring. I see the souls that are hungry and thirsty. I see them. I can't comprehend who they are, but my eyes are fixed on Jesus. My eyes are fixed on him. And if my God said it, I know it to be true. Amen. He is the door. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Come on. He is the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Hallelujah. He is the one true God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let me give you an example of an earthly king. You turn to the book of Daniel, chapter 3. Old Nebuchadnezzar, Brother Shane said it earlier this, today. He said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I had a joke going around the church for a while. I said, I got my Shadrach and Meshach, where's my Abednego? And then here came my Abednego. But you know what? That was through faith. Because at one point in time in my life, I had nowhere to dwell. I had nowhere to go. No roof over my head. Now let's think of those cold months. Those cold months. You can ask pastor. He's seen it with his own eyes as we was out there at the other church, or as we like to call the blanket church. <laughs> Praise God. I'm glad we're out of there. Amen. God made a way when there seemed to be no way. My God says, tell my people, remind them why they're on the threshold, getting to go beyond the threshold, who I am. Who am I? I'm nothing without you, Lord. But with you, I can do all things through Christ Jesus, which strengthens me. Come on. Hallelujah. Old Nebuchadnezzar made an image, a golden image, whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. Now, come on. If you set something up, now I know this is nothing against marriage, nothing against, you know, engagements. It's just a metaphor. 
Jesus liked metaphors. I like to use metaphors. You know when they get a bling, everybody notices the ring, right? Uh-huh, come on, come on. Let's keep it real. It's true. When you get a ring, everybody sees the bling. And if not, they're making sure you see it. <laughs> see this? See what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all excited. Well, I have you know, this is how we need to be today. We need to be excited because he is. He is the great I am. He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. For he is great and greatly to be praised. He wants to give us the desires of our hearts. But are we willing? Are we willing to take it on? He's willing. But are we willing to be the other part of the relationship? It takes two. Pastor just said it. It takes two. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar didn't stop there. He wanted to make sure everybody knew it. He gathered together the princes, governors, captains, judges. Now, I'm just paraphrasing. <laughs> Treasures, counselors, sheriffs, rulers of provinces. Everyone he could, could, could come, he wanted them to come and see what he had made. Later on in the scripture, it talks about a herald that cried aloud. To you, in verse 4, chapter 3 of Daniel, then a herald cried aloud to you, it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages. Everyone, I don't care what language you speak, what race you are, what color you are, I don't care, but if at a certain point at a time, you better be bowing before that idol. But there's some honorary men over here, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there was a spy in the land. That rotten herald had seen them not bow before him. So he went to all the king and, and repeated to him, Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man shall hear the sound. Everyone. And they should worship and fall down before the golden image. But there's three Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that they will not. So that's kind of like having the devil in your ear. You know, you can have all the favor in the world and somebody whispers something in your ear and you trust that person real, real well. But they, they're, you know, you got to be careful who your counselors are. You got to be careful who you lay with. Take Samson, for instance. You got to be careful who you lay with because you don't know. They may have the best intentions. But the best intentions is in gain, for gain, not for you. Come on now. But if you not be known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Okay? Now, I'm taking this all the way to the bank. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, verse 16, Daniel chapter 3. Answered and said to King O Nebuchadnezzar, We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. They were bold. They weren't careful about it. They were bold. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But this is what I really like. This is where we need to be. We need to be at verse 17. I'm going to read it again. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Here's verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image, for thou hast set up. So then the story goes on. And everybody knows it. If you don't know it, I'm going to give you a little portion of it here. As that spy went out and seen, and as they approached the king, and the, bi the king bid them to come, they came. Because that was the law of the land. If the king calls you, you do it. But they knew in their hearts, they knew in their mindset, they knew in every fiber of their being that who the one true God was. It's, a, it's the great I am. Now, as it came down, they got the biggest of men. All right. All right, come here, Blake. Come here, Blake. Come on. Come here, Shane. Come here, Shane. No, ditch it down. It's fine. Elijah, come here. This isn't your first rodeo. You got this. Okay. Grab his arms, fellas. Grab his arms. 
Now look, this seems not right, right? Let's make it more truthful. Let's, let's make it a little bit more evident. Anybody got a little child that would like to come up here? Little one, come on up. Come on up. Now, let's make this a little bit more realistic. No, 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 no. Stand, stand where Blake is. Blake, go on the other side. You three hold him. Hold him. Bound him. Get behind him. Make sure he can't move. All right? Now, they said they were big dudes, so I'm imagining they were bigger than them. So they, they were supposed to be intimidating, but they knew their God. They knew their one true God, and they knew, and they would not be intimidated by anything or no means. Amen? Because he is the great I am. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were cast into the fire furnace. But before they were, King Nebuchadnezzar said, turn it up. Turn it up. Seven times. Amen? Seven times hotter. So the big beastly man, that would be you today, did not make it. So go back and sit down. <laughs> but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, now this is just an illustration to get our mindset right. We're cast into the fire, okay? But King Nebuchadnezzar looked in. Did we not bound them men? Were they not bound? Did we not cast three men in? There's four. There's four, not three. Let me go back to 17. I don't think you're hearing me correctly today. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he would deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the fiery furnace. He bid him to come back. He's like, this don't make any sense. Come back. He looked at the three men. Come on, this is an earthly king. This is an earthly king. He seeks after idol worship. He seeks after riches of this world. Come on now. Come on now. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. They have no hurt, and form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Now wait a minute, King Nebuchadnezzar. I can see the herald going, wait a minute, King. Hold up, hold up, back it up. Aren't you the king? I can see him still whispering. You know, I can see him whispering. But at this point in time, even the king cannot deny who he is. He is the son of God. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much, gentlemen. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. There are many references, hallelujah, throughout the Bible today. We as people sometimes need reassurances at the threshold, amen? We need to sometimes feed our spiritual minds with that which we have been fed off of by reading the word of God. But how do we do that? Ryan, how do we do that? Trust me, if they say it's easy, they haven't been where other people have been. I've been on the other side. I've been in the miry clay. I've been spit on. I've been made fun of. But I knew a God. I know a God today. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Now, I know a God that operates in the miracle working business. We've been talking about miracle signs and wonders for long enough. It's time to get Jesus and remember who he is. Amen. Who he is. Have no doubt. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Have no fear. Cast it out in the name of Jesus. Be not afraid to share your stories. Be not afraid to share your testimonies. Be not afraid of the things of this world. It has nothing to offer you. Don't be as King Nebuchadnezzar. Let us never be blinded by the things of this world, pursuing after them instead of pursuing after him. Amen? Jesus has always been the reason for this season. Always, through our lives, ourselves of who he is. 
He's the one true God. Even Nebuchadnezzar said it. He is the one true God. He is. We'll serve no other gods but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God. So I can tell you, if it's okay on the platform, it's okay at the White House. If it's okay from the east, it's from the west, it is from the north, from the south. My God is greater than anything you can ever fathom or ever imagine. If you're wanting your miracle, I'm here to encourage you that he is the reward of them to diligently seek him. He is the great I am. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the great I am and the way maker. He is love. Let not fear grip us and hold us. Fear gripped me. For a month I fought a battle. I knew where my blessed wife was. She said, what's the matter? Just pray. She said, but honey, tell me. Just pray. This isn't something you can fight. This is for me. Just pray. You, through your prayers, through your fasting, just pray. Give me strength, just pray. She said, but I see you hurting. My children came to me and said, I see you hurting, Daddy. What's going on? Don't push me away. Son, I said, I'd never push you away. I love you. But this is a battle only Daddy can fight. The war has been waged. But I'm standing in the gap for our family. I'm pressing through my family's doubt. I'm pressing, pressing through my family's insecurities. I'm pressing through any circumstances that could cloud their judgment or their mindset. For he is worthy. He is worthy. He is this and so much more. God has healed my back several times. Lord, want me to say this. I've, I've, I've battled with this message for a little while. He said, he said to me, he said, go. Say it, go. I said, Lord, you're the one true king. I said, you healed my back, amen. Thank you, Jesus. He said, hey, don't remember that time you had no house? Thank you, Jesus, you gave me that house. You remember that time you didn't have a job? Thank you, Jesus, you gave me a job. But it wasn't without working for it. It wasn't without seeking and being diligent toward him and loving him and my eyes fixed on him. Because if my eyes are not fixed on him, I could lose my own soul. I could help all the people in the world and be pulled away from the ministry God would have me to be in. I could be pulled away and tattered and torn from my family needs me. To my God has an answer. But I sat my wife down and I said, I said, honey, it's over. She said, what? I said, the battle. We won. There's no weapon formed against us that shall prosper in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We need to press on. I've come to tell you today. Press on through your doubts. Press on through your disbeliefs. Believe that he is. We need to press on. Push forward together. One mind. One accord with cords that cannot be broken. When you fall down, don't be ashamed to call a friend and say, hey, I need prayer. What's it about? I just need you to pray. Be fervent. Pray. Because when two or three or more are gathered in my name, he's there in the midst thereof. He's here tonight. If you have a need of a miracle, if you have need of something that you have never come across today, do not ever let your circumstances keep you from Jesus. Never let your circumstances keep you from his word. His word is like a two-edged sword. It cuts going in and it cuts going out. But if you don't take it to battle, you can take shots all day. But you're not going to defeat him. The only way to defeat him is through the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's remember today that he is. Pastor, if you would. Let's all stand tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, if you agree with that, he is. Hallelujah. I want you to raise your hands right now. God is everything that you need. 
He is everything that you need tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, be encouraged by our minister tonight. Come on, he is everything that you need. He is right here, right now, a very present help in the time of need. He is everything, everything that you've been asking for, God is. God is. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is, God is, God is, God is. Tonight, certainly each and every one of us have a request, a petition that we need to, uh, to make known unto the Lord tonight. Tonight, I'm going to encourage you tonight as they sing softly tonight. Why don't all of us find a place of prayer tonight and offer God our petition, knowing that God is everything that we need and more. God is faithful and just to hear our prayers, and God can answer our, our prayers tonight. Amen. Why don't we try him? Why don't we just try him tonight? Amen. If you'd like to come down to the front, you're more than welcome to find a place to pray at the front. If you'd like to turn around your seat and make your seat your altar tonight, amen. Make that make that your, your place of prayer tonight, wherever you are tonight. Let's talk to God. As our minister has told us tonight, God is. He is. He is. Everything that you're looking for can be found in God right now. Come on, as they sing softly tonight, let's really pray. Let's really pour our heart out to him tonight. Pray, pray right here like you would be praying in your, in your prayer closet at home. Let's just get a moment with God. And God, we know you're able. We know, God, that you're able, Jesus. We trust you, Lord. God, this word that we've heard tonight, God, we know, we know that you can do anything, God. Come on, church, he is. When you're praying tonight, just understand that he is. He is faithful. He is just. He's everything that you need. God is everything that you're needing. Everything that you're wanting can be found in God. Hallelujah. He's more than enough. I don't care what the enemy is telling you. The enemy may be telling you it's impossible. But my Bible tells me with God, all things are possible. He is. Hallelujah. Come on, offer your petition to God. If you need healing in your body, just go ahead and ask God for that healing. Be specific. Be specific. If, if you're praying for somebody else, go ahead and mention that name in prayer. Call that name out in prayer. God's listening to your, to, your, to your words right now. He's listening. He wants to hear that name called out in prayer tonight. Just understand that he is. He is. He, he's a God that can save them. He's a God that can turn their life around. He is a God that can pull them out of that old miry clay. And he can dust them off and he can put them back in the church. Come on, he is. He's more than enough. He's more than enough. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, come on, call that name out in prayer. Come on, call that name out in prayer. Perhaps it's not your family, just someone that you've got a burden for. Call that name out in prayer. Just understand that that name that you're calling out in prayer, when you apply the name of Jesus, he is everything that you need. Just like our minister was saying tonight, he is everything that you need. Come on, he's, he will not fail you. He will never fail you. Even when you think that you've gone too far the wrong way, God says, I'm right here. I won't let you down. Come on, he's faithful. He is faithful. He is merciful. He is kind. He is long-suffering. He is just. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Perhaps you're praying about a situation. Just understand that he is. He is a God that can turn that situation around. He is a God that can turn it around. Come on, come on. The enemy may be rejoicing now, but, but with God, he won't be laughing long because he is. He is our fighter. He is our fortress. He is. He is the one that can help us get past these walls and help us go beyond the threshold. Come on, he is. Hallelujah. Come on, every word that you're saying right now is not in vain. God is hearing every single word. His ears are pressed to your lips right now. He's hearing every single word that you're saying. Come on, your neighbor may not hear you, but God hears you. God is hearing you. Oh, yes, Lord. Come on, God's been waiting for this prayer. God can now commission angels of, of healing and blessing.
if we could have some ladies to come over here and pray with our dear sister over here. God is working right now. God is moving over here. the great I am. More of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. More of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory. Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this place, more of you, Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this place, more of you, Jesus. Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this place, more of you, Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this place. I touch the hem of your garments and I felt the leading of your hand but today my eyes look much higher to see the face of the great I am more of you Jesus more of your face, more of your glory in this place. More of you, Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this place. More of you, Jesus, more of of your face, more of your glory in this place, more of you, Jesus, more. 
more of your glory in this place. More of, more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. Oh, more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. We need you, Jesus. You, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. More of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. Oh, more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. I touch the hem of your garment, and I felt the leading of your hand. But today, my eyes look much higher. To see the face of the great I am. Oh, more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. More of, more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. We need more of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in this place. Why don't we stand to our feet and sing it? More of you, Jesus. More of your face. More of your glory in let this be our prayer tonight. Oh, more of you, Jesus, more of your face, more of your glory in this. One more time, more of more of you, Jesus, more of your face. Come on, while we thank him for a sweet presence here tonight, on this Wednesday night, come on, don't you feel faith arising in this place? God is everything. He is. He is. He is. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you, God, for all of the good, great things you do for us, God, in leading us and guiding us, Lord, today. You're faithful, Lord. Now, Jesus, Lord, thank you for the worship we've experienced tonight. Lord, thank you for the word that we've heard tonight. God, we're leaving. Our faith is going to be higher than ever before. God, we are reminded one more time, God, that you are everything that we need. Jesus, thank you, God, for, for already blessing us, God. Lord, I pray today as we go home, God, encourage us, God, Lord, to tell someone else about the great God that we serve. Lord, bring us back Sunday at your appointed time, God, with a burden on our heart. God, I pray, Lord, send a hungry soul here Sunday, God, that we could, that we could create an atmosphere, God, where somebody, Lord, will repent of their sins, be baptized in your holy name, and be filled with your precious Holy Ghost. We love you, Jesus, and praise you, Lord, tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, in Jesus' name, shake someone's hand that's close to you, hug and neck, and say, I love you. Three powerful words. I love you. Lord bless you.